Hey everyone, so I'm back with another makeup tutorial and it's another runway inspired look and this time it's Miss Sony Autumn Winter 2014 created by the makeup artist um, Lucia Peroni using MAC. Um, so I've kind of recreated my this look myself. Um, it's kind of like this semi smudgy messed up um, look with like kind of dark corners. Um, the idea behind it is that it's um, a girl you'd see at a bus stop at six in the morning wearing her boyfriend's coat and like her makeup from the night before. So it's quite clean on the inside of the eye um, but then it's kind of all smudgy and black um, and a bit blocky um, on the outside so I really like it. Um, so um, I've done the tutorial for you guys so if you want to see how to recreate this look keep watching and I'll see you again talking to the camera, obviously you'll see me the whole way through the video, but yeah, at the end of the video, I'm gonna stop rambling now. So I've started with my foundation and concealer already on, and next I'm gonna apply an eyeshadow primer. I'm using a MAC paint pot for this. Um, it's good for a look when it's all about the eyes like this, just to have a bit of a plain base, uh, make everything even. As you can see, I've got quite veiny eyelids, uh, so it's good to cover those up and have a blank canvas. Next, just using a beige eyeshadow that's the same colour as my skin, um, just to go over the insides of my eyelids there um, with like quite a blending brush. And next, using a coal eyeliner, just smudging it on my hand a little bit to make it a little bit more easy to work with. Um, and then just really roughly applying it to the outer third of my um, eyelid there, um, just in a kind of a small rectangular shape, but it doesn't have to be very neat. Obviously, I've got quite small eyelids, so the bigger your eyelids are, the bigger you might want to make your rectangle to be. So as you can see, not being really very precise about this at all, this is not about clean lines, this look at all. And again the same thing to the lower lid, slightly smaller line there. And try and make sure you're not joining up the two lines in the outer corner. The idea is that your two blocks for your upper and lower lid have some space in between them. Then just using my ring finger there as it exerts the least pressure to smudge out now getting a small blending brush and some black eyeshadow, you want to start at the outer corner of your eye and just blend that eyeshadow on over the top of the eyeliner, um, blending inwards and making sure you cover it all up to build up the depth of colour and then just blending slightly inwards. You should only be covering sort of the kind of outer third of your eye um, with the eyeshadow and then just blending slightly inwards. A good trick if you've got small or hooded eyes like I have, um, keep looking directly forward just to check if your two eyes are level and making sure you're even there. It's quite difficult to tell when you're looking down um, and applying the eyeshadow to your eyelids. So keep looking straight ahead just to make sure it's all going in the place you want it to go. Then using a smaller pencil brush, um, doing the same but to the lower lid. You see on the lower lid I'm going slightly further in, about halfway into the eye, uh, halfway across the bottom eyelid rather than only a third. Just going to build up some more colour here, just because this isn't a very pigmented black eyeshadow. And obviously with this kind of look, you can build it up and go sort of more dramatic or less dramatic, the amount of eyeshadow you put on. Okay, I'm just going to go back to that blending brush I used to apply the beige eyeshadow and just blend the edges of the black there to soften them up. Now I'm going to get a clean pencil brush or any small brush and that um, MAC paint pot again. I'm just going to go over the corners of my eye there and just in between the two blocks of black just to make sure they're not joining up. This means that um, it keeps your eye looking a little bit more open. And I'm just gonna go back in again with the eyeliner, just close to the lash line there, just to put a bit of a darker line on, just define the lash line a little bit more. This adds to the smokiness of the look a little bit. 
and now using a white eyeliner or you could use sort of like a, a bright kind of beigey skin toned um, liner if you've got one of those um, just going on the waterline there just to brighten up the eye a little bit more and now lashings of mascara it's quite a big lash look so putting loads of mascara on there you could add false eyelashes in the outer corners if you wanted to really building it up for quite a big lash look not only on the upper lashes but on the lower lashes too And just using a brow gel or a clear mascara, just kind of run over your eyebrows to get them into shape. Now I'm using a cream highlighter, but you could use a powder highlighter as well. And I'm just going to apply a very small amount just to my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, brow bones and chin, just to add a little bit more of a glow. This is a morning after makeup look, but you don't want to look haggard and tired. And finally finishing off with lipstick. It was more of a kind of nudie beigey pink in the Miss Only show but I don't have one of those because it's not really a colour I particularly go for so I've just gone for this kind of natural pinky colour. So that was a tutorial guys, this is the final look. Um, I'm really loving it. Um, it's kind of like, I like a smoky eye but I feel like it can be a little bit overpowering and a bit too much sometimes. I think this is like a really good kind of trade-off there. Um, I'll definitely be wearing it out uh, on a night out in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments um, if you're enjoying these kind of runway inspired looks. Um, I really love looking at runway makeup so I really love doing this kind of tutorial. Um, and I'll see you soon for another video. Okay, cool. Bye!